Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about use of tables in Microsoft Project 2013. Now, if you find yourself constantly deleting and inserting column every time you create a new project, it is complete waste of time. Use of table will enhance me to use a particular setup of a particular table and it will save my time as well. Let's take for example that I want to review the project budget wise that I want to know the cost of the project. So under the table drop down menu I will select the option which says cost. In similar way if I want to track the progress of my project I will select the option which says tracking. We will have a better understanding of all these options in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn about use of table in Microsoft Project 2013. So let's understand and explore this feature. So where I can find it, it's under the view tab. If I go to the view tab and if you go here under the data group, you can see there is a table drop down box. Let's see what are the options that we have with us. So if I click on this drop down menu, I can see there are various other options which I can see. There is a cost, hyperlink, schedule, tracking, variance and others. Let's try to explore them one by one. So I'll start with the very first one that says cost. So let me click on cost. The moment I click on cost, it shows me a different sheet altogether. Now in this sheet, if you see there are some changes in the table, which I can see on the left hand side. Now it shows me fixed cost, fixed cost, accrual, total cost, baseline, variance and actual and remaining. So basically it is giving me what are the cost which is involved with a certain project. Now out here it is showing me the total cost of the project life cycle that is $639. So in this way, I can understand that what is the cost involved in my project and it gives me an overall picture what are the fixed costs, what are the fixed cost accurate whether it's prorated whether it's start whether it's end right so this gives me a overall feature of the budgeting of my project all right moving on with the next one let me click on this table drop down box under the view tab now this time I'll click on entry so if I click on entry, do you see there is some changes in the table which I have in front of me? Now my uh, drop down box, if my entry uh, option is showing me a feature that is a standard layout of the Microsoft Project 2013. If you guys remember at the start of the project, the screen which always look like this it will show me task mode task name duration start and finish by default so this entry feature gives me the default layout structure of my uh, microsoft project screen all right moving on with the next one is the hyperlink let's try to see the hyperlink how it works the moment i click on hyperlink you see there are some changes now I have a column name as hyperlink if I click on this column I see um, there are some uh, hyperlinks so as the name suggests itself that this feature will link a task to a particular task using the task ID it's generally not used on a daily basis or it's not used on a generalized basis it is uh, used by the people where they require the hyperlink for a particular task all right moving on to the schedule task if i click on the schedule task now you see the table has changed out here now i have the task mode task name start and finish by default now this time i have something as late start late finish free slack and i can see the total slack as well if you see there are some slack involved for the closure it's 22 days all right for closure it's 22 days for some of the tasks it's nine days that is for completion of planning it is showing me the free total slack as nine days so in this feature on the table drop down menu if i click on schedule it helps me to calculate the free slack or we call it as float all right so it helps me to calculate the slack or the float and free slack and the total slack giving me an overall picture of the project moving on if I click on this drop down box and let's say if I click on tracking, this tracking will showing me some other features. It helps me to track the 
percentage completion of my project how much percentage it has been completed so as you can see in this column I have percentage complete physical completion physical percentage completion I have the actual duration I have the remaining duration and I can also see the cost involved All right, the actual cost involved and the actual work done I have these in hours right so basically this will this feature will give me the tracking of my project percentage wise and how much amount the work has been done so let me skip one two and let's try summary so in this feature summary feature it is showing me the overall summary of the project how much if you see the duration um, the duration is there start is start column is there finish column is also there this time I have the percentage work complete the cost involved al along with this pro project and I have the work column as well defining me the work hours alright so it gives me the overall summary of the project showing me the percentage completion the cost and the work done alright work in hours now let's move on with the next one uh, it has usage now now usage is showing me basically if you want to add a new feature it is just showing me the work hours right and rest of the things remain same okay so using this feature I can use different various option and I can click on the option which is suitable for me and I can get my table structured accordingly in similar manner I can also have more tables if I click on more tables it giving me more other option whether you want the roll up table you want the earned value earned value cost indicators right so if you see on in the more table column in the more table option I have various other constraint which I can apply and get my table accordingly so guys this was about the use of table in Microsoft project 2013 hopefully I was able to successfully explain you how it is used okay so with this I will end this video